what do you guys say about this, bud? I don't know. They suck. All right, the only I've been to two super shows. <laughs> I've been to two. Which ones? I don't even know. I know <laughs> the the CCW, the last one, and that one was weak because we. Is that the one with that Indiana? Yeah. God damn, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, they suck. Okay. The only uh, match that was interesting it was y'all's. It was horrible. God damn. <laughs> that guy. I don't even know his name. The fat one. <laughs> There's a lot of fat ones. Look at all the fat nigga. <laughs> Fucking. Cody carried. Devin Bliss. No, B Snow. <laughs> Devin Bliss, B Snow, they're both the same person. Yeah, Stacy, motherfucking. <laughs> fucking Marilyn Manson looking at us. We look like Marilyn Manson. Who else? Who else? What? Max, did you wrestle? Sure, I wrestled this weak ass motherfucking name, Matt Kutos. Matt Kutos. <laughs> no, not his name. Now listen to his name. What is his name? Matt Valentine Massacre or some shit? Fuck, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> He's um, emo. What do you uh, think about emos? Fuck it. Fuck them. Kill yourself, bitch. I don't know. Matt Kuto, I didn't hurt him. Me neither. Fuck. <laughs> I got him a friend on Facebook. No. Next to the he's like, he pulled up to the show and said, who am I wrestling? And they said, me. He said, my name's Matt. I suck. <laughs> <laughs> the match sucked. You know what? He asked me to do a Canadian Destroyer to him. You know how many times I did a Canadian Destroyer? Twice. Like a half a time before. Put the camera on me. Oh, on us. We're underrated. We'll always be underrated. No matter how many matches we win, no matter how many places we go, because we'll always be in the shadows with the shadows. But shadows. March, whenever it is, it's time for us to come out the shadows. We ain't coming out the closet, because we get more pussy than pussycats. <laughs> get more pussy than Jim Beam. It's time for underrated to show what they can do. We've been showing we, what we can do, but nobody appreciates it. Nobody Dude, appreciates what we, we beat, can do. We beat Alex Zane. We beat Alex Zane. Everybody on GBYWN jacks off to his videos. We beat him. I beat him. I beat him. Jimmy Nutter. Jimmy, no, that ain't even his name. We that's beat, not. That's another dude. Him? What? What is Jimmy's wrestling? Jimmy Kicks. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Kicks. Jimmy we Kicks. Him. We beat him. Devin Bliss. Beat him. Everybody thought Devin Bliss. He should have won. What is it? Breakout Star? He should have won Breakout Star. Who? Devin Bliss. Or not Breakout most Star, improved. but most improved. Because he is good. Except he hits a little hard. And I don't like it. <laughs> and then Chris Castle. 14 minutes already. God damn, man. Chris Castle wrestled the Prodigy. You know what? But you know what? CJ Carlson. The Prodigy wrestled Chris Castle for about 40 minutes. I wrestled Chris Castle for about 20 minutes. And it was better than the Prodigy in Chris Castle. And nobody says shit about it. Mm -hmm. There's a video, the two and a half minute video. The Prodigy gets a five and a half minute video, nothing but chops, and him running around the ring and with no shirt on. And, and then, then, then his shirt's it. on, and then his shirt's off, and then his shirt's on, <laughs> and then his shirt's off. That's no good flow. <laughs> this man right here, <laughs> oh, good flow. his match was oh, good flow, perfect. Boy. Perfect. Look at the full match. It's better than the Prodigy's, guarantee it. No, hey, no, no, no taking no, nothing no away to Prodigy, because he is good. Kentucky is the best thing going right now. Nothing. The only, the only, level. the only thing that comes close to us is the Northeast. But and the Northeast is too far away to go up there and, and show what, what we got. We were gonna go in June, but Marcus and Defonte want to say, "Hey guys, I'm moving." Who cares if you're moving? Make the show in New Jersey. <laughs> Do something. They got a ring, nigga. <laughs> they got a ring. We 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 were supposed to face R two D two, and we were gonna beat them. We were gonna beat them. I don't know if we're gonna beat them, but. We should have. Like, we don't, know if we're, 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 we don't know if we're going to be, be Snow and Sick Rick. Probably not. But you know what? We should. They would probably say, who the fuck are y'all? Y'all ain't beating us. Nigga, Danny DeVine. Oh, you're friends with Joe Rainer and the Prodigy? <sighs> Danny. going to beat us. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2011. We're ready. We're prepared. We got our dope ass shirts on. We got... Oh! Look at that most like in Tigers the and most, shit. The, the most like Tiger Max. <laughs> You know what? We're gonna have to cut that part out. Because <laughs> these shirts, shirts are gayest shirts This motherfucker cost nine dollars. Look, now I bought him knee pads for his birthday. He bought me a motherfucking tiger shirt that he would <laughs> he would have from this shit. All I have I'm the half. It ain't his birthday yet. We got all this shit to do. But anywho. At the end of the day, CCW burned the city. We're supposed to face Sick Rick and Beast Snow. 
We're coming for you all. We're coming for the titles, and we're going to prove that we're the best tag team in backyard wrestling. Even if you all don't feel like using y'all's, losing y'all's belts. Even even if you all say, you know, we got to win. You know, we're not a real tag team. We only tag team once, and we got the tag teams handed to us by our best friends. So we deserve the tag teams. Even even though you even though you know that that's cool, and you're planning to do other stuff. Not really. <laughs> We're champions. We're, we're, we're going to go out there and prove to everybody there that we're the best tag team. Just like we did last year. Who we wrestled last year? Devin Bliss and Stacy. Yeah. And Devin and Stacy. And then lose that one too. That one was fair that we played rock, paper, scissors and they won. So. You know what? We had to watch the match. We still won that match. Yeah, we <laughs> Those so, motherfuckers didn't even know what a hot tag was. Yeah, These yeah. motherfuckers did a hot tag in the first five minutes of the match. No offense to Devin Bliss because he's my nigga, but... We should want that match. <laughs> Stacy's mom, nigga, or bitch, whichever way you want to look at him, depends on if he had the makeup on or not. <laughs> but he's 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 cool. Devin's cool. We should have won that match. We lost we lost rocker rock paper scissors fair and square. We should have won that match. Let's turn to the high shot high spot shoot promo. You know what, Joe? This is the best promo you ever. I'm loving it. In your I'm life. loving it. Dude. Your phone's right right now. Is that uh, your chick? Should you do uh, what's a line sick Rick says? I'm making my laptop. I don't know. I only listened to that song one time. Didn't even really fucking listen to it. I skipped it to make it the Saints part <laughs> where it's good good. All right, what are you saying? All right, let's see. I'm just kidding, dog. The one right. last thing we gotta say to make the promo bad is we'll fuck you up like Beast Nose Tattoo, motherfucker. Crooked and shit. Oh no, that, just cut it after that. Well, there you have it, folks. Another exciting video brought to you by Backyard Wrestling Weekly, including backyard wrestlers from either in or outside of the country. Now, we will go on to our next video of the week. Some very exciting wrestling or promos to behold. Enjoy. James Earl Ray, the earthquake in Haiti, them four cops in Los Angeles, ain't going to be nothing compared to what I'm going to do to you, William Black, this Saturday, March 5th, not WrestleFest 2, right here in my own hometown in Norwalk, Connecticut. You better show up and bring your A-game, William Black, because you're about to get exploded. Hey, everybody. No flashy editing needed because we automatically keep your attention. Uh, this is Marcus Santafonte and Robbie Roberts, the GBYWN champion. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to discuss some numbers that have been playing heavily into the GBYWN community as of late. Number one, well, this coming Sunday will be the first or number one show for WZW's 2011 season. Personally, I'm looking forward to it because I will get my revenge on St. Vengeance and I will become the new New Era champion. New New Era. New New Era. So nice. I said it twice. What are your thoughts on WZW this Sunday, Robbie? It took a lot to get you to come. I'm still not looking forward to it. I was when I heard my st I got to choose a stipulation, but not anymore. Because not only is one the number of how the first show that's coming up Sunday, but the number of hours per way to get to the show with Alex Cross in my car. That sucks. Uh, number nine. Personally, this number is bothering me lately, and on Saturday at Not WrestleFest 2, for the first time ever, and the only time ever, I will have the privilege and honor of showing that little fucking boy, Nine, that wrestling isn't flashy, get helped out by your opponent's style. No, it's Smash Mouth, baby. I am going to crush you, Nine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. I don't know who nine is, but I hope you kill him. Number five, who's the fucking fifth guy, Team EWA? Really, I've I've been dodging this question because I'm sick of not knowing. But it's really it's really bothering me. Who is the fifth Saint Vengeance? I'm I'm gonna beat it into you. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna beat it into you because you're keeping it inside you. I'm gonna beat it out of you, and by the end of Sunday, the world will know. I'm looking forward to seeing who it is. Shit. Infinity, V 
the amount of times that tech will post something and somebody somewhere in the global backyard nation will be mad about it. Man, he just pisses everybody off. Number 11, WrestleFest 11 is a little over a month away. Jay is saying it's the last WrestleFest, but I'm pretty sure he's been saying that since WrestleFest 3. So, uh, but yeah, WrestleFest 11, it's an important number. Robbie, your thoughts on WrestleFest 11? I'm not going to that one either. But, it, but it's not the weekend of a con. It isn't? No. I mean, I'm totally going. Hope, hope, they, hope they don't get mad at me for that. Number two, uh, this coming Saturday is not WrestleFest 2 presented by IWC. Uh, Robbie, you're not going because you never go to Connecticut. Nope. So here's a number zero for how many times I've been to Connecticut even after this weekend. Uh, okay. Um, I'm also looking forward to this show. It should be a lot of fun. I'm sorry for those of you that are stuck in a meeting. Number 30. <coughs> I'll handle this one. 30. EWA is going to have themselves a big old fashion style Royal Rumble with 30 entrants this time. Yeah. And the winner gets a shot at the third EWA anniversary, which is number three. Oh, number three. That's coming to you in June. More numbers. Moving on. Who will win that Royal Rumble? You better you better tune in to find out. Moving on. I got enough. What about this one number that has been confusing the hell out of me? And honestly, it's creeping the hell out of me. If I was Mike Damage, I'd be scared. This is number six. Number six. Who are you, the six? Are you a new member of The Awakening? Are you a douchebag that has... That, the, like, are you just a guy that doesn't like Mike Damage? Who are you, the six? And just stop posting those videos. Your editing is amazing, but your subject material is questionable at best. With that kind of material, it would not surprise me if it was the director of Saw. Mike Damage, did you piss him off by giving him bad reviews? 157,763 is the amount of times... CJ Cross said shadow in his shoot promo with Max Vendor. Robbie, your thoughts? You love them more than Iowa. I do love them more than Iowa. Then again, it's not hard, but, I mean, I agree with them. They need to get out of the shadows of the shadow. They need to stop being a shadow of a shadow. It's just dark, man. It's dark. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, number 57 uh, is the amount of times in the past year and a half that Mike Williams... Michael Blaze, Herman Cox, Patrick w Manson, Mike Manson. Uh, yeah, the amount of times that guy has changed his name. That's about right, yeah. That's 57. Well, hello there. <laughs> Just doing a little, a little personal studying, reading some books on how to write. Um, I figured I'd take a break, take care of some new era business, because you see... Everyone's everyone wants to know. They're being they're like they're like Andrew Wright. You know, Mark Santafonse announced who he's wrestling for not WrestleFest two and, and and David Auburn announced who he's wrestling for not WrestleFest two. Andrew Wright, who are you wrestling for not WrestleFest two? Guys. It's the Titan Towers versus Hockey Payday. I said it like four times in the thread. Seriously, just learn to read.